Hello Infernoid friends, so I have some cool news. I have been developing a new combo and tech theory for uh, Infernoid, thanks to the Infernoid lab, especially to uh, my friend Slashy, who came up with the idea uh, since a lot of band lists ago. Because this concept is not entirely new, but I put some math on it, some check some ratios, and it works pretty well for me, so that's why I'm gonna share it with you. So currently, this is my favorite Infernoid list. This is what I'm gonna be playing until the band list that could come up today, tomorrow, or who knows when. <laughs> so, um, just a spoiler, we are gonna be summoning Charles. It's been a long time since, since, I, have, since I have been using this card. And sometimes it's gonna end up uh, uh, with Gilfried on the same end board, which is pretty cool. So this build is kind of nostalgic. Um, yeah, I just hope you, you like the deck, the theory. And um, yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, as you can see, we are playing 40 card list. Um, I'm gonna show you, first of all, the standard combo. I mean, quote unquote standard because the end board is not gonna be the same every time, but you will get the idea. Then I'm gonna sh share with you uh, a playtest, like um, a match, a DB rated match. Um, but I, I don't want you to, to see the whole match, just uh, I needed a game where I use the combo with Gilfried and another game where I freestyle, and somehow this match um, contains both, so that's why. And then the deck list, okay? So let's begin. As you can see, we, are, we opened one hand trap and a small world, which is that's non standard. So you're gonna see um, I'm putting everything back and we are just focusing focusing on Ogier Renaud. So this should be a two card combo uh, because the deck is designed to to have two card combo, either Ogier Renaud or Connector Oliver. And we are even playing a small ward to, to have more chances of that two card combo happening. Yeah, so in this build we are not running too many um, blank warriors like Flint um, or red layer anyway so this is a double build a double deck uh, but the the difference between this and the other deck list is that this has a very very chances of going second because of the amount of non-engine and quote-unquote hand traps that we play as you saw we have open uh, imperm at, at the beginning so this um, combo is going to revolve around the non-engine. Um, what do I mean by that? Just wait five seconds. So this is standard, the standard combo, and here, this is the key piece of the combo. He's limited for some reason because he draws, 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 and generate big draw power. So how how many times are we are we gonna draw in this combo? So the standard is eight. Yeah, you heard right. This is a draw 8 combo <laughs> and I've never been a fan of the draw combo because for me that uh, that was putting too much RNG into the deck but I put some math so it's not actually everything um, super random and uh, it's cool to to have this as the as the plan B you know like how do we make a good end board it has to it has to FTK, it has to skip turn, it has to do something else that is not only interruptions on, on the field. Because you know, Super Poly, Dark Ruler, uh, big, a lot of dangers into battle phase. So, so I, I decided that draw 8 was pretty nice. Uh, especially because both sides we can like uh, search floodgates pretty much. Or search uh, back row removal. And we can just have uh, a lot of follow-up and play non-engine so instead of have running like triple ddr or side uh, you're gonna see that at least we are running hand drops which is you know better going second so yeah the combo is here and this combo we use elf as the first double loop and we are we are using double like four times first of his all second of elf then shaman and then garden rose maiden okay so we summon doppel and then we get, um, yeah, Garden. It's pretty important that we use Marcher, so this is a tuner, tuner, and that makes it easier to, to still synchro climbing. So in this uh, example, uh, we are gonna be drawing, so I can show you uh, when we draw eight, and even if we start with zero non-engine, how many non-engine we can, 
we can have at the end. So Matt says that we should be having three to four non-engine of the draw eight. And why? Uh, because if we start with five cards, we have 35 in deck. It's all uh, adds one, mill two, summon one. So then we have um, one, two, three, four. So we take four, so we have um, 31. Then Hulk is summon another, another thing. Then we have 30. Shooting Riser, mill something, we have 29. Um, this search Black Garden, we have 28. We play like 10 Rodas or Ogier, which could mill. So 27 is the standard number of cards in deck we are going to have uh, for, for the draw eight. <coughs> so if we have 27 and we draw eight and we play 12 defensive, 12 hand drops, yeah, it, Matt says we are gonna draw three at more than 80% of the time and we are gonna draw four 50% of the time. So that's what I'm saying is between three and four non engine. If we start with zero, I mean, this deck is, uh, is made so we can start with one or two hand drops on each hand. Um, but if we start with zero hand drops, like, yeah, we are still gonna end on three or four um, non engine interruptions. Okay, so let's keep with the combo. Yeah, as you see, this is just a random draw. This is just what the, stati the statistics tell us that is gonna happen. So then, oh yeah, we gotta summon the Jet Synchron and summon Shaman. So we keep looping Doppel. Um, yeah, uh, this is re it's really important to, that you build uh, the change properly because we are gonna have a lot of chain links. Um, when we summon like Riser uh, and a lot of things happen like here. So the important stuff is that usually we wanna um, use Hyper Labradian as the first, uh, as one of the first li chain links. And then we wanna use like Coral Surge or Riser Mill because if Coral Surge Black Garden, we have weed deck thing. If Riser Mills uh, something, with that thing, you know? So that's another thing that you should keep an eye on. Also, sometimes we draw dead extenders, like a heritage, and we already use Dorian Oliver. Activate the heritage, search something else for the follow-up. That way you deck thing more. Yeah, that's that's what you gotta keep in mind. So yeah, we keep drawing, keep drawing. Uh, at this point, this is something cool. Riser could get us any synchro interruption we want from level three to nine, because he's gonna be used uh, with with tokens, I think. No, no, we don't have tokens here. I think this was a misplay. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna use this with with Doppel Warrior. So in this case, I put him at level six, so he, we can make an eight, and that could be Savage or Omega. In this, in this variant, I'm running Omega because that free up space and that allow us to go for the draw eight. If this was Savage, we would draw seven because we need to free up space and use these two into Fleur. Um, and then and Riser and Tokens into Charles. So that because it's Omega, we can make Charles first, get the last draw, the eighth draw, and then just Fleur. Also because, you know, we don't want to get hit dark by a hard, dark ruler, so I think Omega is nice. Sometimes the, the, the opponent, because we draw so much, they just scoop in game one because they don't want to reveal the deck when we use Omega. That's also nice. Um, yeah. And also because in the freestyle, it's nice to have a, some way to free up space. Because when you're going to see how Omega helps in the, in the next replay. So we keep comboing off, we keep drawing. Yeah. As you see, we are not utilizing any extender. Like we didn't use this or DDR. So I'm just show showcasing a standard combo. Even if your draw eight, your eight cards are not extenders, you know? So if you get extenders, you can even you can do even more. But my theory is that you don't need to. Uh, yeah, ignore uh, this token uh, represents the hand rip. Yeah, then we summon Riser and use the tokens and summon Charles. Yeah, the big old, the good old Charles. Now Charles in this format is not so good as of an interruption. So if you want to change this for Savage because this, these two plays into super poly. 
So I think Savage would be more optimal, but this is just, you know, nostalgic <laughs> for me. Um, yeah, and I think it's fine, even if we get super poly. The idea behind this is that we can get Dark Ruler and we don't care because of the amount of non-engine. Yeah, we keep drawing. We keep drawing. Ah, yeah, Coral Dragon. It, it was supposed to be used uh, early, uh, early on. <laughs> but I'm just showing, showcasing you that this should draw 8. Because we had only gear feed as it's all add, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Yeah. And one, two, three, four, sorry, sorry five, five interruptions. So yeah, that's even more than, than the standard. The standard should be three, four. And yeah, like I said here, Charles could be Savage. And Fleur pop the extra dark token. Yeah, if, if this is Savage, I mean, or we just revive Coral instead of Riser, and then we don't even need to utilize this. Here, we could also just Fleur pop Elf, because the Elf is not going to bring any interruption. Maybe if we played Formula and something else, we could summon Halky, but I think that's over overkill. So we could just pop this and have these two big bodies, two interruptions, and then the non-engine. Yeah. Now, here I'm not 100% sure. Please, I would like you um, to correct me in the comments. If it's the end phase and we end the turn with six cards and then we resolve Roland and draw, uh, I mean, and do the search, do we have to discard because we have seven now? Or we can like, um, like we can keep the seventh card because this is after we chose to, to discard extra cards. I'm not sure. And it doesn't matter, you just set more cards, you know? It doesn't even matter. Even if you just uh, discard one of the, like, I, I don't know, the connector or the not, yeah, I think it's fine. We have uh, too many extenders. And uh, yeah, in this case, we could have used DDR to loop another card, and then we have six. But I have this, that question. I would like you to, to tell me the answer, please. <laughs> so yeah, that's the combo. In this case, we only have two extra slots, but we could have three, you know? Coral was entirely optional. I mean, we could not play Coral, and then instead of draw eight, we just draw six. Because again, I think at that point we are already winning. <laughs> so it, I think it's fine if you just cut this and have an extra free slot. Because right now I think this is um, it's all unicorn and it could be the access code. So yeah, now we are going up against Runic. This is game one. We open, I think this is an average hand because we have a three card combo because we max out on these cards. Sorry, not all here, but these ones. And then one hand wrap and then one brick. So this should play, do full combo uh, through one hand wrap. Because, you know, Gearfried protecting the, the entire combo. So I'm not gonna show you my opponent's hand because we are gonna simulate like I was playing. So I had to put Gearfried because I had no idea that um, if he had any hand wrap or not, you know? So when we do that, we cannot do the standard combo. We, we have less uh, free space. So you're gonna see the variation. And I think you could freestyle differently. I don't think this is the only way to do it. But I, I decided to, to, do, to go like this. Still Maiden, um, because she helps getting a lot of bodies with, with Black Garden and, and the graveyard effect. And you know, we keep drawing. Uh, we just Coral and Riser. And here, Riser is going to uh, allow us to go into another Synchro 5 into Roland. So I'm going to use Riser and Doppel, which means Riser has to be level 3 now. Yeah. I'm just building the chain, getting the draws. Here we cannot mess up the draw, we need to remember Coral. Here we just, as I told you, we search um, to deck thing and to get better draws even though we don't need this at all. We keep uh, comboing, looping doppel. We make Fleur there, as you saw, it was the only way. So we couldn't draw more. But hey, we have Imperm Veiler Nip. I think it's pretty nice as, as non-engine. And then Omega. Uh, so yeah, we are ending on still three monster interruptions and three non-engine. 
and a lot of follow-up you know we have one two three four five forms of follow-up six with the Roland in the end phase more than we need let's be real so the opponent I think it, he got intimidated intimidating with the uh, with this which is why uh, let's see let's see what happens now let's see his hand okay so I was about to, to take his I don't know it was any card actually this is like the worst card um, yeah because then he had flat gates mine um, so at this point he decided to scoop so he doesn't reveal the deck I think it was a good idea uh, maybe not you know I mean he has this to search for anything but then Fleur negate mine he cannot out the Fleur because he needs to target him and we have we have elf maybe he got a if he got had a good top deck um, maybe we should have been using Oliver into Fleur for double targeting protection but hey it is what it is he scoops game two yeah I don't really need to show it uh, he he opened good I mean he had barrier then he mined us and we didn't have an out um, so yeah, it was a sad game also Silver Valley is a really old card but man I did a, a big misplay so I'm gonna tell you so you never do it this effect is not once per turn I misread because I, I read this you can activate one he chose to activate this and then he can activate this infinite so I asked this um, we lost because of that okay so always read um, pay, pay, play, pay close attention with all cards because this is not common in, in the current card text uh, of any card anyway game 3 um, we yeah, as you can see, he had no hand drops again. He only had evenly and maybe a good top deck. And we we are go gonna try to draw into this, into outs to Mystic Mine, outs to Floodgates, outs to the the field spell. But what should we do with this hand? I mean, we have these three cards. We don't really use one as we don't really want to use Small World at the beginning. So this is a freestyle combo. We decided to go for the. You know what? If he has nip, he has nip. But if he doesn't have nip, maybe we can freestyle into some other interruptions. So we chose to to summon dolphin, trying to get rid of a hand trap, and it was for nothing. But then even with that alert al minus, and then we we even sm small world minus one. Even after all these minus, we are gonna end on the god world, the super god world. Like play a pay attention I don't want the video to be too long so I, I, I'm gonna try not to pause just check the freestyle yeah we need to use um, we need to use DDR on Doppel that was mandatory <laughs> there was no other way we cannot combo if this is vanished uh, we summon Librarian we go for Shaman there you know this is different this is non-linear but you know we need to see these lines and try to focus on doppel the more we we loop doppel the better we we would do the combo and we need to manage the zones carefully we summon coral we revive doppel i saw a line where this could be an eight yeah so mega we get tokens and even if we had one extra monster this is a cool interaction we could um like chain link i don't know one doppel chain link to omega so oh, maybe maybe we cannot i mean <coughs> if the board is full i think we cannot declare doppel because he has to summon two uh, i thought we could like omega vanish and then we would have the free space but maybe that's not legal okay so also you could uh, clear that and uh, doubt in the comments please but this was not the case you know we had space for everything um, then we got another 
another card so we can deck thing. Then we get double draw. Oh, sorry. Um, is it me or we didn't? Oh, we didn't draw of coral here, man. <laughs> That's so no. We, we were focusing so much on the free side that we didn't do the coral draw. That's too sad. Anyway. Yeah, it revives Riser. So we ended on Omega and these two, like three interruptions, but usually we don't have Librarian at the end. This time we keep him, we kept him until the end. And we ended on Droll because I thought it was gonna be useful against him, but maybe this should have been something else. Maybe the reboot. I think I didn't put reboot. And then we had Cosmic Fair Duster for the next turn, 100% sure of uh, OTK. So here, like, I think I'm over committing into the board, but uh, you know what? Maybe, uh, we have too much cards in hand. Uh, maybe we should have keep co Cosmic in hand, or even the, the Imperm. I thought that like, Imperm could be using a Runic and negate a column, but you know what? This was useless to put that. Maybe we just discard them, you know? We just need to see, to choose the best six cards for follow-up, and that would be Cosmic, Fair Duster, Gearfried, Renaud, uh, one, one, two, three, four. Uh, do we, did we use Dolphin? Oh yeah, we use Dolphin. Four, and maybe like five, six. I don't think we need draw because we know the hand. I don't think we need to minus one on this. And uh, yeah, we don't even need the Imperm. So he had the second evenly. That's why I was telling that this should be Savage, that would be more optimal. And then, yeah, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Like, okay, you double evenly. We just keep Charles and destroy one of the three. <laughs> then destroy the other. And then just Harpies, you know, and, and win. And we, we had we even had Cosmic if this if we didn't have Harpy so it didn't didn't even matter. So yeah, that's the combos. Now time to go for the deck. <laughs> yeah, this is my current take on the deck. <coughs> of course, not the side deck. <laughs> As you can see, uh, we are playing only twenty four warriors, which is a low count. And some people are gonna say, but hey, before we only need Isol to resolve, and we were playing like 26 warriors. Now we need Isol plus a tuner. And you tell me you only play 24? That's crazy. It is. But as you can see, everything here should be the two card combo. Like, like every combination of Ogier Renault or Connector Tuner or Connector Oliver. So we are we we don't actually have. I mean, we'll have one Flint as utility. But then we don't even run the red layers. And that um, is here. So now it comes the big explanation. So the idea is that going first, it's, it's fine to small work get rid of one of the hand traps. Because at the end we draw so much that we just recover that. Um, going second, we are going to use the hand traps to stop the opponent. So this will only, only be a, it's only going to be an extender after we summon salt and get the search, the salt add. Mm, so yeah. What else? Um, 12 hand traps. Now, which hand traps do you want to use? It's up to you, but you should max out those uh, that are not once per turn. Or just, just play a lot of tools, you know? If you want to play Go Goes Ogre or Bell, two, 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 maybe two nips. Because draw eight is a lot, so you don't want to have multiple uh, non engine in hand. Um, this is like the extra deck. I order it in the linear way, like we summon these and these and these and these and these and these until Fleur at the end. And yeah, we could cut Coral and play Access Code. Now, um, post side we should have for sure three cross out one Cold by. And Cold by could be here, you know, like you, you could play Cold, cold, by, cold by in the in the main. And what else? Um, yeah, the Access Code like, could be in the main, could be in the side. Um, it's up to you. If you think that with draw six you are still FTK in, and I think you are, you can get away with playing access. 
this is utility going second if you play red layer because <laughs> then we can red layer uh, renov into this to start breaking boards you know maybe into the flounderies and to the empen we just come on red layer some on this get durendal and red layer that into coral coral discard durendal pop the empen um yeah go from there um then both side we should have triple nib um draw yeah actually, because we draw eight this dice hard to draw that's why I don't want to go over 40, so we have 5 draw out um, the cold by and the connector dolphin and I think, that, I think that's more than enough I mean, we die to draw, but then we can still perform most of the combo the only real important search is this into black garden but with one less double loop, I think we can find another way um, what else? Uh, yeah, the theory is that we don't, should not play evenly or or storm. We should play this, maybe this, yeah, this, this, and triple this, because against back row decks, we should have those in. So when we full combo, we should have at least one of these in hand. And I think the math is that if we play five back row like this, back row eight, we are gonna open. We're gonna draw one when we draw eight. Yeah like like 70 74 something like that like it was a high high chance so i think you should play those or, or twin twister but you know not evenly not uh, lightning storm then this is another variant the moment in the standard combo the first combo that you saw in this video the moment we summon the riser and mill um level one uh we could mill a red layer and then this would be level 2 and then this and doppel would make herald so we could end on with herald in the end world which is nice i'm not doing it because i don't want to run red layer because he's just another blank warrior uh, but you could I, it's utility going second against pride this could be using the battle phase to out something uh, but then sometimes they have the smashers or the, they can search the pixies so it doesn't come up enough in my opinion but you can try test it for sure in your locals if there is some guy that summon this or summon um spheres you know the dragon uh link to then yeah sure you could run the red layer ah, but the thing is you should you have to run two because what happened when we when you draw the one red layer <laughs> you need to search the other one sorry the, to me the other ones that's why i didn't want to commit two spaces for a red layer and this on this deck so that's why I didn't want to play Herald. Also because some a lot of people could like summon Mothman, Barrel Face, crash into the Herald. Um, so yeah, I didn't like that. Uh, I think I would rather just have a rather have a Savage because he's big. And then, oh yeah, but the idea is that if we play this both side, we could side a Spell Canceller because we could just mill this of Riser and then in the opponent stand my face with Herald on board, we just flew re revive this and then, you know, another type of GG or revive side, you know, this could be side so that was the, the reason you could test with this both side if you want right now I feel really comfortable with just drawing a lot of hand drops and, no and knowing the matchup, like if, depending on the matchup I'm gonna choose which hand drops to keep on the deck to, to counteract the, the opponent the other idea is Italy because if you want to have a, a more consistent deck, you need a two-car uh, full combo. A two-car combo that allows you to have Isol, someone in Doppel, and then a Tuner Extender. So right now we have two ways, Ogi Rena or Coneoli. But we could also have Italy Flint. Or, you know, any of the robots that search Flint. Because this would summon Siemin, get Foxy, Foxy summon Deer. Maybe even just Foxy, like Foxy or Italy accomplish the same. To have Deer, then we summon Flint, then we, we summon Isolt, and then Deer revive CA Min. Or if we summon of it, if we use we use Italy, then it, re it, re it revives Deer not sorry, it re revives uh, Foxy. But the idea is that we are having we are gonna have a tuner for double. But I am I mean if I with this we should probably cut the small world and then cut like one on engine and maybe one of these or go over 40. Um, to play the six card package 
but then you need to uh, create your own combo because as you saw in this combo we are relying on Oliver uh, token into librarian if we include this we are gonna have a, a level um, 3 tuner so then the synchro climbing is gonna have to be different so you need to figure it out but this is a powerful card so I should, should suggest you to to test it then we could also side fly flat gates um, both side and I think these two are the strongest flat gates uh, maybe a point is even better because we could appoint a lava golem sphere wrap sphere mode and then a pulusa it could be another flex ball because this is not an isolde combo it's an isolde plus tuner so if we just open isolde and that's not gonna happen too often because we don't play blank warriors maybe if you open like a connect uh, flint lady flint dolphin and three hand drops it could happen so with this we can have isolde summon renault summon renault apple for three with hand drops pass so that's like a, another plan b that's up to you hope you like this concept this deck um, once again thanks for uh, to slashy for bringing me this uh, into my attention i think he was playing power tool variant and you know not maiden not so much dragon but for me this is working uh, better so yeah i like this a lot um, test it out please uh, you need to learn how to freestyle and if it's all gets negated you know what you, we have 50 50 percent of the time we still access doppel because one doppel one rower for small words that's also another nice thing about the deck and uh, sometimes if we don't have full combo like you need to still end how to do stuff like halki summon jet halki jet into elf elf revive a link to uh, you know going second then we revive jet and then we just summon unicorn and end on these two or end on this and a non-tuner so in the opponent's store we revive, revive halki halki summon riser rising the non-tuner summon an interruption yeah you need to learn how to set up properly even if we don't full combo and yeah i don't think it's the most resilient deck i mean the idea is that we don't have to play through so many interruptions because we interrupt the opponent with hand drops uh, and yeah yeah that's that's the idea once again hope you liked it and see you in the next video um i was thinking about a ban list reaction that i never do but uh, it depends on the ban list you know i hope the ban list comes soon man <laughs> i really want the format to change I want the new support like the Rockus Layer to keep uh, playing Inferno World as much as possible. And yeah, yeah, that's it. Goodbye, friends. See you in the next video.